<laughs> oh, hey, don't mind me. Knowledge whale just swimming by. Oh. Before we begin, I wanted to remind you guys that I started a brand new social media account called Fact Maniac. It's my side brand where I post daily amazing facts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. If you haven't followed it yet, check out the links in the description and give it a follow on any one of those social media platforms because it'll give you facts in between these videos. Don't you like that? Okay, let's begin. Here are 50 amazing facts to blow your mind. The medieval town of Nordlingen in Bavaria, Germany is situated entirely inside a meteorite crater that's 25 kilometers across. That crater formed 14.5 million years ago. According to a study done by UBC researchers between October 2013 and February 2014, people who are narcissistic, psychopathic, or have Machiavellian tendencies are less convincing online than they are in person. That's because once the nonverbal cues are removed, it's much easier to spot someone with these characteristics. Some frogs throw up their entire stomachs when they've eaten something extremely nasty, such as a poisonous insect. You ever seen Pan's Labyrinth? You know what I'm talking about. The entire stomach is thrown up inside out where the offensive insect falls out, but if it doesn't fall out completely, the frog will actually reach up with its forearms and stroke the inverted lining of its stomach, cleaning it off manually. Unlike other fruit that generally grows on trees, pineapples grow on shrubs and each pineapple plant only grows one pineapple. In Buddhist and Muslim countries, it's seen as an insult to point the sole of your feet or shoes at somebody. There's a dog cloning service called Som Biotech Research Foundation located in South Korea that will actually clone your beloved pooch for around $100,000. Ancient Egyptians rimmed their eyes with coal, a mixture of lead, copper, burned almonds, and soot in order to ward off evil spirits. In Italy, Disney actually changed the name of the movie Moana to Oceana because Moana Pazzi is the name of a famous Italian porn star there. She passed away in 1994, but her name is still oddly a household name. <laughs> can't be associated with porn, oh boy! Before Americans landed on the moon for the first time, the majority of Americans did not support the idea of a moon landing and thought the government was spending way too much money on space. Artist Bin Don, who lives in Southern California, creates art by taking photographs of people from the Vietnam War and through the use of sunlight and glass, prints them onto leaves and then casts them in resin. According to the Max Planck Institute for Ornithology in Germany, the frigate bird sleeps while it's flying. It sleeps for about 12 seconds at a time and usually with only half its brain. Over a 24 hour period, they sleep only about 40 minutes. Man, that sounds like a tough Life. In March of 2017, a team of Egyptian and German archaeologists found an almost 8 meter tall statue of King Sametek I, who ruled Egypt from 664 to 610 BC. It was originally believed to be a depiction of Pharaoh Ramses II and is over 3,000 years old. Scientists have developed a reusable sponge called the oleo sponge, which can absorb oil from the surface of water but also below the surface, which will improve our ability to clean up large oil spills because not all of the oil sits on the surface. According to a study published in the Journal Archives of Disease in Childhood by researchers from St. George's University in London, children who spend more than three hours in front of a screen or using computers are at a greater risk of developing type 2 diabetes. These children scored higher on various measures of body fat and had higher insulin levels. Theodore Roosevelt won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1906 for his role in mediating the Treaty of Portsmouth which ended the Russo-Japanese War. He was the first American to get the award and he used the prize money to fund a trust to promote industrial peace. In March of 2017, geologist Jonathan O'Neill and Richard Carlson uncovered ancient minerals that are remnants of the Earth's original crust, which first formed more than 4.2 billion years ago. That discovery was made in northern Quebec, Canada. Hey Richard, I've been digging. I think I found something here, eh? According to a study done by Enigma in February of 2017, 
key brain regions are smaller in people with ADHD. These include the parts responsible for emotions, goal-directed action, learning, and responding to stimuli, rewards, and motivation as well as memory. Cardiff Wales couple Martin Shervington and Eliza Evans got married in virtual reality in May of 2017. The wedding took place at a virtual nightclub called The Spire. They invited 150 of their friends and family to attend, many of whom wouldn't have been able to make it to a real life wedding in Cardiff. They tied the knot on a virtual reality social network called Altspace VR. Dr. Hadi Shafi, assistant professor of medicine at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School, is working on making a new device that measures sperm concentration using your phone's camera. Oh, I see all kinds of issues with this. According to a study by Scott Bobeck, a vertebrate ecologist at Dickinson College in Pennsylvania, boa constrictors don't suffocate their prey, they actually cut off their blood supply. When it tightens its body around its prey, it puts pressure on the victim's circulatory system and their arterial pressures drop, venous pressures go up and their blood vessels close. On March 24th, 2001, in a spring training game between the Arizona Diamondbacks and San Francisco Francisco Giants, pitcher Randy Johnson hit a pigeon while pitching with the bird exploding in midair. Oxygen masks in airplanes aren't actually connected to an oxygen tank. Instead, they use a chemical reaction to generate it on the spot. On March 23, 1962, Jacqueline Kennedy was given a horse named Sadar by Mohammed Ayub Khan, the president of Pakistan. Japan actually has braille on their beer cans that says alcohol and sometimes even the manufacturer's name. Richard Nixon has been featured on the cover of Time magazine more than any other individual, having appeared 55 times. Pope Benedict XIV is a licensed pilot who can legally fly small engine planes or helicopters. President Theodore Roosevelt, the 32nd President of the United States, has a tattoo image of his family crest tattooed on his chest. Bonnie Burr from Bruceville, Indiana built two roller coasters in his backyard. He calls them the Blue Flash, and he built them for his grandchildren with no prior experience from scrap metal that he collected and then welded together. Oh, that's nice. Hey kids, if you're watching, don't ride grandpa's death machine. There's a temple called Wat Samphran in Thailand that has a giant dragon wrapped around the outside of the building that's approximately 17 stories high. On the ground, there's also various animal sculptures such as an elephant, rabbit, dolphins, and another large building in the shape of a tortoise. In Murphy, North Carolina, there's a place called Fields of the Wood Bible Park that has a mountain called the Ten Commandments Mountain. The Ten Commandments are literally etched into the side of its grassy slope. Nelson Mandela was an amateur boxer. He trained at the Donaldson Orlando Community Center Gym in Johannesburg. He enjoyed the science of boxing more than the violence of it. In Bolivian cities, there's a program called the Mama Zebra Program where a team of young people dress in zebra costumes and dance in the streets to make drivers and pedestrians aware of traffic rules. The zebra was picked because of the pattern of the zebra crossing. In 2006, the annual Discover Santa convention was held in Branson, Missouri. There were workshops, vendor fairs, events, and networking. Over 300 Santas showed up. It was the first true modern day Santa convention. On the 94th floor of the John Hancock Center in Chicago, there is a steel and glass structure called Tilt that allows people to hover 305 meters over the city. It has three overhead hydraulic actuators that rotates the enclosed moving platform and tilts you out 30 degrees over the edge of the building. The makers of Sriracha Hot Sauce, Huai Fong Foods, chose a green cap for their bottle of Sriracha to represent a fresh chili stem. Bless those people, they make delicious hot sauce. During World War II, Britain's special operations executives equipped secret agents with itching powder that was placed into condoms destined for use by German servicemen stationed in Norway. I know it's war, but that's just cruel. Koreans donated billions of euros worth of gold jewelry to help pay down the nation's international monetary fund debt in the wake of the 1997 Asian financial crisis. It actually enabled them to pay off the debt ahead of schedule. The government asked the citizens to donate their gold jewelry and millions of people did so by donating heirlooms, wedding rings, trophies, and small gold figurines. 227 tons of gold was collected with Within months. The world's narrowest street is in the city of Reutlingen in Germany. City street number 77 ranges from just 31 centimeters at its narrowest
narrowest to 50 centimeters at its widest. It was built in 1727. In 1874, earmuffs were invented by a 15-year-old boy named Chester Greenwood from Maine. He shaped two pieces of wire into circles and then connected them with a wire headband. His grandmother then sewed velvet and beaver fur to the circles to keep out the wind. He was 18 when he got the patent in 1877, and by 1883, his factory was producing 30,000 earmuffs a year. By the time of his death in 1937, he was producing over 400,000. There's a Pac-Man inspired entertainment center in Illinois called Level 257. It's an over 3,900 square meter playground with bowling, arcade games, and food. The kill screen on Pac-Man is level 256, so level 257 symbolizes the next level of play. There's even a store that sells Pac-Man memorabilia, hundreds of which are only available there. The Maya and other ancient peoples of Southern North America went to dentists to beautify their teeth with notches, grooves, and semi-precious stones like jade. The Holiday Inn Resort in Panama City Beach, Florida has a special daily wake-up call for spring breakers, blasting Circle of Life, Elton John's hit song from the Lion King musical. They blasted at their balconies, a tradition which began in 2012. American aviator Charles Augustus Lindbergh, who made the first solo non-stop flight across the Atlantic in 1927, was a polygamist with three other families and wives in Germany and Switzerland. Jeez, dude got busy. Of the 24 men who traveled to the moon on Apollo 8 and Apollo 10 through 17 missions, 20 were Boy Scouts. That includes 11 of the 12 moonwalkers and all three members of the Apollo 13 crew. Thomas Edison proposed to his second wife, Mina Miller Edison, by using Morse code. Oh, that's, uh, romantic. <clears throat> in Mount Rushmore's original design, the four presidents were actually meant to be carvings from the waist up, but insufficient funding brought the carver to stop after the faces were completed. Between 2002 and 2010, almost 18,000 men made trips to ERs for zipper mishaps. That's nearly one-fifth of all penis injuries during this time. Researchers at the Worcester Polytechnic Institute are developing a method to use the vascular network in spinach leaves to deliver blood oxygen and nutrients to grow human tissue. They hope that in the future they will be able to use this to filter blood better to damage tissue in the human heart. Theodore Roosevelt was an avid reader. Now that's not that amazing, but what is, is that he was known to read on average a book a day while he was president. He usually read several books at a time, rotating between them depending on his mood. In 1965, artist Salvador Dali drew a picture of Jesus on the cross and donated it to Riker's Island in New York. It hung in the dining hall for 16 years when the prison administration began to fear that the prisoners might damage the painting and it was moved to a plexiglass case in the lobby of the prison. It turns out it wasn't the prisoners they needed to worry about because in 2003 it was stolen by four prison officials including a deputy. That's all this time from the Knowledge Whale. Ooh, ooh. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it in the future, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications for my new uploads. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!